Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and today we are going to paint my friendly little frog. I will do a quick little re-up of how to draw him and then we'll get painting started. So grab your paints, your markers, and here we go. Have fun. I've got my supplies ready. I have my palette. Got some paints, got some markers. This is called a china marker. It's very waxy like a crayon, so I like that for the out line of my frog. Here is another, this one is watercolor, I believe, but kind of like a crayon, so I do like that. I'm gonna have my bucket with some paint brushes, something wide like this and coming to a tip is ideal because I can fluctuate how much paint goes onto the paper. So let's get started. So just a quick reminder of how we draw the frog. Start by making a great big oval. And that will be his body. A couple half hearts are going to be his legs. Make the toes, three out both sides, and then you're good with that. Now you can make the eyes, two big circles, color in most of it, leave two white circles for the pupils. Just like that, we are going to do his mouth once we are all done painting. Here's my palette. A palette is just something you keep your paint on and it can be a plate, a paper plate. I've used a little bit of everything. I'm putting green in here, so I'm not going to mix a green for this time. I'm just gonna use this nice, nice bright green for my frog. If I wanted to have spots on him, I could draw the spots, outline them before we paint. And I will make the spots in a different color. So for a couple helpful hints, hey water, I forgot water, so let's get the water. There's a couple ways to do this, but sometimes what I like to do is get all of my frog wet, put water all on the inside here, and then I'm going to put some water where I want it to be green on his legs trying to avoid the little half circles, which will be our spots. Take some water. It's a kind of a big frog here. I'm gonna get a lot of paint on my brush. I dip it in, not to rinse, but just to get more water to add to the paint. Stir it around. Now you'll see when I put this down, it's just gonna kinda go more easily wherever the water is. I have some spots where the paint is kind of gathering and I'm gonna leave that there. So it's a little darker around the edges. And if some spots don't have any paint on them, that is fine too. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. A couple little chunks of paint are there. I'm going to try to brush those out so even if I do some little spots like this and it looks mottled, that is fine. Take my green paint once again. Now I'm going to do the legs. Try to fill in wherever it's white on his legs and on this one too. Get that filled in. Now if I'm really careful, I can do the yellow on his spots. I like to have some paper towels handy so that I can dry off my paintbrush. I'm gonna get my yellow paint wet. Same thing, stir this into here. If you have regular watercolors in a container, you're gonna do the same thing. Soften it up. Now I'm gonna carefully put it in the circles. I'm not gonna quite go to the edge that way I don't have to worry about my greens and my yellows mixing. And if they do, that's okay. Let's go like that. I've got one more. This one's tinier. 
And there we go. We can let him dry. And then when he is all completely dry, we can add his mouth. I just wanted to show you a couple other paintings of frogs that I did. These were for the frog books I made. So you can see we've done other colors. You can make it whatever color you want. If you research frogs, frogs come in all different colors. Colors that we've never seen if you just live here in Michigan. So very surprising. But let's try. You can make up your own color combinations even if they don't actually exist. So I think maybe for my next frog here, we are going to do a yellow frog. So I'll put these aside. I've already drawn the frog. I did a few more spots. I put some toes on him so we can color the toes. I am going to squirt out some more of my yellow paint. This is gouache, so it goes, mixes with water and it can be very opaque. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit more paint so we don't see any paper through it. So I will color. You can see there's some spots where I haven't hit the paper because the paint is thicker and I'm going to let that show through. Bring my brush around. This drawing I did with the marker. So this is a Sharpie marker. If I want to cover all of that paper, all I have to do is put some more water on my brush, drag it through, and now you can see it's covering. Still very yellow. I haven't thinned out the paint. I've just thinned it out just enough for it to cover the paper. With a little bit more water. And now I'm going to do the legs. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to try to decide which color I would like for his spots. Maybe we'll make his spots and his toes the same color. I'm going to turn this. It's just easier to paint. You can do that too. Just know there is no wrong answer for a color combination. You can see I got a little bit on the black marker and that's okay. If we go out of the lines a little bit, no need to worry. The first painting we did with the china marker, it's kind of waxy like a crayon, so it almost keeps the paint from going out of the line. The china marker kind of keeps the paint from going out of the line. So I drew these two hearts here, so you can see when I get there, it is kind of a barrier, just like a crayon would be. I couldn't find a black crayon, so I used this. But if you do the crayon, it'll kind of hold it. It went over there a little bit. If you're really worried about it, take your paper towel and just blot it up. And now we have cute little frog in yellow. And I think we will do, let's do bright pink for his spots and his toes. I haven't done that color combination. So just be a little bit fun. If your water gets dirty, get fresh water. Otherwise it will change the coloring of your paint. So now we're going to do the pink. And I'm going to color the spots. Be real careful. I got quite a bit of paint on my brush. And then put just a little bit of pressure to get it close to the edge. When you're younger, sometimes it's hard to control it. When you get older like me, it's hard to see as well. So it's hard to get it exactly where you want it. But we are not computers coloring. We're just people having fun, and it doesn't have to be purple. And I do like the pink. If I didn't like the pink, I could change the color once this is all dry, and then just put another layer over it. So I'm going to finish with the pink on the circles. I'm going to give him his pink toes.
pink toes on the other side. Then I'm just going to show you this yellow on the heart is not dry, but say I wanted a pink heart. So let's see what happens when I add the pink. This kind of makes it a peachy color. So it kind of covers it up. And now we've got a different color here. So we'll do that to this one as well. And we'll put this one aside and we will let it dry. Our next one we are gonna try, we are going to mix our own green color and see how we like it. We're ready to start again. I've got nice clean water here. Make sure, but there's that's just clear water, no color in it. And now we are going to make our own green. I'm not sure if you know this, but if you mix yellow and blue, you'll get green. So I've got some blue paint here. There's a little bit of yellow in this one. So we're gonna start mixing it. More water. It's not very green at all. So let's grab some more yellow. Stir, grab some more. We'll make it a little brighter. So we're getting a little different green than what we had on our other frogs. So we'll just test it right there and see what we think. A little bit darker, like an olivey green. If you want it even brighter, of course you can add some more yellow. See what we have here. So again, I don't have a very wet brush, so some of this white paper is showing through, but I like that. And again, I turn the paper just to make it easier. I'll get his legs green. I'm gonna squirt some more yellow paint onto my palette. Because we're gonna try something with the spots here a little different than what we did a minute ago. So we get some more yellow paint. Squirt that in. I don't know if it'll be wet enough. A lot of it's experimenting. I'm gonna grab a different brush, just a clean brush. I'm gonna put some water on it, get it so it's not maybe dripping. Add some more water so it's thinner. Then I'm going to just kind of Put some spots here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of bleeding out. So it has a really kind of a fun effect. I'm gonna put some of those spots onto his legs as well. The wetter the paint is, the more this will bleed around. So let's try Let's make a yellow frog again. And then we'll put some of those green spots in the yellow frog. So this time I'm gonna leave my paint a little wetter and then those spots are gonna stretch out more. Kinda of like little stars almost. I've done something like this if I was making a sky Making it blue, you can put some white in or some yellow to make stars. White with blue will work better just because you don't have to worry about it turning green. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse my brush, dab it, and I'm gonna stick it into the green. I'm gonna use the green I used over here. We'll start with the legs. Just put some spots. And those are fun spots. They're not perfect circles. Each one is gonna turn out a little bit different just depending on how wet our paint is. I'll put just a couple at the bottom of the frog. Dry my brush. And now we just have to wait for them all to dry. And then we can finish by adding our mouths and if we want eyelashes or eyebrows or anything like that. On this frog, his body's dry. His spots where we did yellow are still wet. I wanted them to dry quicker and I didn't care if they were a lighter color. I could put my paper towel. You can see it lifted some up, but then I don't have to worry about smearing. So put that down there. 
I'll do the same thing on the other side. Plenty of times I've done a painting and then my hand went through it and messed it all up. So now I'm just going to put his face, his mouth on here. Taking that china marker, making a nice big smile. If I want, I can add some eyelashes to both sides. Want to make them a little surprised looking, I can go like that. We can do whatever we want to this. We can add some ground. And then if we add to the ground, maybe we want to have a few pieces of grass or something like that. And we just kind of put them in wherever you like. We'll make a little sun up here. We've got some yellow paint. Just kind of make it cheery. At the edge of the sun, I can take just water and it will kind of fade out just at the edges. Take some more, just the water, and I can fade this out some more. And just fade it as much as you want. There we go. I can put some green on the ground if I want. Again, I gotta turn this, go like this. It's nice if everything isn't solid on the ground, just kind of gives it some different depth. And there you go, we've got one finished painting. Let's see how our other ones are coming. So this one is still a bit wet. You can see the shininess from the water. If I'm careful, I should be able to use my china marker because it does not bleed. But I might get pink paint on my shirt. So let's go like that. I've got a nice smile on him. I used eye markers for his eyeballs, or her if we want it to be a girl, doesn't matter. And we'll put some eyelashes in a different manner on her. There we go, we got one more finished. Our others are too wet yet to even start. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you had fun painting. I hope you have fun when you go and do your own mouse or frog or whatever other creation you're making. Remember, there's no wrong way. There's no right way. You're the artist. You can do it however you'd like. Have fun. Next time we'll paint the friendly little mouse, his friend. Have fun with the different colors. Have fun with your painting. And if you want to find more body shapes and more eyes and expressions, just look at the original, the how to draw the friendly frog, and you'll have some more ideas of shapes. Have a good time and have fun creating.